Okay, so first of all, most people are going to say about the time, aren't they? And say, look, I don't have time to do this. Don't have time to do that. The issue is what I always say to clients initially is, and this is a process again about coaching people because at the end of the day, that's what they're there for. They're not just there for to get feedback and targets. You've got to coach the individual to try and create habits and routines and disciplines. Um, is yes, you're going to have excuses to not do the work. You're always going to have excuses to not do the work, but you're, your excuses to do the work should be more powerful and should be bigger than the excuses to not do the work. Now, what I'm trying to say here is, oh, people go, well, hang on a minute. Like, should I sack off doing what I do from, from business that's putting food on the table? No, you shouldn't because obviously that's putting the food on the table. But what we can come up with is a happy medium. Like you just got to remember, like you're probably, if you're in that position where you're giving that, oh, I ain't got no time. I haven't got, you know, no energy. I haven't got this, I haven't got that. Then, it's that building process and going, right, okay, let's stick to, let's commit to two sessions per week. Like here's the two sessions I would like you to commit to. And initially getting the ball rolling is probably the hardest part. But as soon as you fucking get it rolling, it's a damn sight easier. And that momentum building, and that actually creates the motivation. You yourself will create the motivation. Like you people will get like this extrinsic motivation from seeing a transformation picture. But actually keeping the ball rolling, that's what's going to keep that intrinsic motivation going and seeing the results that they're getting, getting more energy. What I always say to people after three weeks, it's not about their weight loss. After three weeks of eating better quality foods, how do you feel? How do you feel? Oh, I feel way better. I feel like I've got way more energy. Right, don't forget how you felt three weeks ago. Because yeah. you felt like shit. You came in here, you were tired, you had no energy, you had no get up and go. But now we're training two, three times per week. Um, you're eating better quality food. Yes, we're still in deficit, but funnily enough, you got more energy because you're eating the right types of food. You're actually getting blood flow going around the body. My relationship's getting better. My business is getting better. All these little wins. This is what we always talk about within our check-ins as well. It's not just about, right, last week's weight, this week's weight, fucking target weight, target calories, training. We talk about lifestyle. We talk about, right, what's your biggest win of the week? What are your confidence levels at? What's your energy levels at? And then when you look and reflect from what they did at the start and they did at the end, I go, right, at the start, you said your energy levels were two. Yeah. Now they're seven, right? That has also progressed you in this area, this area, this area. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's huge. And what we, when you talk, start talking about marriage, we can talk about kids. We can talk about, you know, all these other things that, that probably a lot of the viewers have or listeners have, um, in regards to, in, in regards to barriers. But at the end of the day, it doesn't need to be the perfect split. Like so many people get caught up with, Oh, fuck me. I, I should be training every day. Sometimes as ourselves, as PTs, you, you sort of do that yourself as well. Like, fuck me, I should be training five times a week. I should be training a bit harder here and there. Yeah, absolutely, sometimes. But also, you're still turning up and getting the sessions in. If you want to take it to the next level, yes, you have to go through those threshold points and you have to go through a bit of pain to see progress, don't you? Yeah. With, with anything in your life, like whether it's training, whether it's nutrition, sometimes you're going to have to go through a bit of pain. And that doesn't mean physical pain, like it might be psychological pain. Of, of saying no, of going, right, okay, I really don't like training in the evenings, but at the minute, it's my only option. So I'm going to commit two evenings a week instead of watching fucking Netflix all week, all week. I know it's easy doing that, but also you can still do that the other five days of the week. Let's do the other, let's do the two days for you. Yeah. And give me one hour. We'll give you, and one hour. I'm not asking you to train for that one hour. That's getting there, doing half an hour and getting back. That's if you're going to the gym. If you're doing it at home, 35 minutes. That's fucking piss easy. With a shower, 45 minutes, you're done. Yeah? Let's commit to two sessions per week. And then we build on that. When they, when they start seeing the value of that and they start getting more energy from doing that, what I would say if people are super, super busy, super busy, is training earlier will be, will be more beneficial. You'll find it easier if you're training earlier because it's in the bank. When you get to 8 p.m., things will crop up with business, with life and stuff, and you're like, fuck me, I've got to be on the laptop. I find that quite a lot of the time, like I'm doing stuff in the evening. So I try and get it in early because then it's in the bank. And what tends to happen, and if you've got, you know, you guys have got kids as well, is is you have to be strict with your bedtime as well. If you're, if you're going to bed at 12 o'clock and you're waking up and you think, fuck me, I've got no energy. Like there's no surprise why you've got no energy. You've got three fucking kids or whatever and you're going to bed at midnight because mm. you're watching Netflix for three hours. Like you need to set rules and go, right, okay, I'm going to bed at 10. Like that's the that's time I'm going to bed. And then you'll probably get up earlier anyway to get the sessions in anyway or get one or two sessions in per week. And if you can keep that consistent and then you start building on that, like what we talk about on courses, say if someone's doing two sessions per week, if they can eventually get up to three sessions per week, they can get another 50% done just by adding one more session in. Mm -hmm. 
So over the course, you do two sessions per week. That's 20, that's 20 sessions over 10 weeks. Can we go to three sessions per week? That's 30 sessions. That's going to be a lot more, a lot more volume, a lot more results you're going to get. And also we can actually increase your calories, which is going to keep you happier anyway. So, so yeah, in, in, in regards to barriers, we've all got so many barriers with business, with kids and whatever else, but what I would say is it doesn't, it doesn't have to be the perfect split. You don't have to go cold turkey with everything. You don't have to go like super strict. I know that's some, somehow like how people respond. They like go from eating complete shit to going, no, no, enough's enough. But enough's enough. You're still going to get world-class results from eating good family-friendly meals that factor into your life that you don't feel like you're on dieting on. Um, you're still going to get world-class results by committing to two to three sessions per week rather than six sessions a week doing one week and then going, fuck me, I'm dying here. Can't move, can't fucking walk because I've been doing heavy squats for the first time in six months. Do you know what I mean? So, you know, that all needs to be taken into consideration because that people will build it up. People will make their issues bigger than they are. They'll go, fuck me, I can't do this, can't do that. It's like, you don't need to do that. You don't need to train every day. You don't need to eat those calories. You don't need to eat that super, super clean. Let's just take one step at a time and you're still going to get world-class results from doing that.